Greetings all, Vanna here for Pisces' weekend message. Pisces, oh, fuck yes. All right, Pisces, you are going to have reasons to celebrate. Because why? Harmony, harmony, harmony. Things are being brought into balance. Finally, I feel the relief. And it's so interesting because right before I was starting this, I was noticing this, this pressure or weight or pain between my solar plexus and my heart. And I almost feel like you were previously in a situation that made you believe you did not deserve love. That you were not worthy or capable of feeling or achieving love. And this Six of Crystals is the celebrating the release of whatever that energy was, whether that was a past notion or ideal you subscribe to, or literally a person in your life that makes you feel this way. The Six of Swords, or the Six of Wands, and the Two of Diamonds is the celebration of the balance and the harmony your life will be coming into soon. So be ready. Claim it, Pisces. Be open to receive it because there are people to come in to take the burden from you, to take the weight of everything from you. You have done enough. Now is the time to focus on yourself. Now is the time to ensure that your cup is full, my love. While there are no cups out yet, you as Pisces know how valuable and how important your emotional health is. So please, my love, do not sacrifice it, especially to an emperor. Now, it's interesting because, yes, this emperor could be the energy of the person that was against you. But I truthfully feel this is you in your divine masculine, in your power. And I love it so goddamn much because I do not often have a good relationship with this motherfucker right here. But the emperor is truly coming in as you. You claiming your divine masculine power, your power of ambition, your power of go get him, your power of achieving. You also have your power of receiving that I want to remind you of because you have the Divine Feminine coming out here for you, reminding you to be humble in your victories. Do not gloat. Do not boast. Do not parade your victories around those who did not succeed the way you did because that will taint and sour it. That is not the high vibration that you would want to be in, that you are trying to be in. You have the Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups that have come out for you. Like I've been saying, walking away from the situation that no longer serves you, there is no remorse. There is no pain. There is no sorrow. It was not a good place. And without it, you can have more meaningful, balanced relationships. This may mean you have less people in your life, but there's the quantity over quality discussion. I will always take quality over quantity because I would rather have one incredible friend than 17 fake ones to fill the void. And that is absolutely true. You may be very isolated during this time. You may be very cut off because as you move up away from this old version of your life, there are people who will fall through the cracks because they are not meant to be in your next path. I wonder if there's something you are not saying, if there is something that you are not admitting. It is the time to release that from your chest, my love. If it is a personal shame that you carry, if it is a guilt, if it is a fear, you do not have to share this with a person. You do not have to share this with someone who you are afraid is going to judge you. Share it with spirit. Share it with mother. Write it down in a journal. Take the paper out and burn it. Go to the woods and speak to the forest. Speak to the trees. Speak to your animals. Speak to the birds around your home. 
These are all messengers from spirit. And they will carry your words back to them. If there is something that you need, ask for it, my love. Spirit cannot just take things from your memory bank and from your ideals and make it happen. You have to invite the change, and you have. You invoked this a long time ago, and that's why the Emperor's position has shifted from the oppressor to the one in charge of themselves. You have hope on the horizon. Be ready to claim a showering of blessings, because they will truly be heaven sent, my love. Be authentic to who you are. That is the point of soul shine in my life's mission is to help remind each and every one of you beautiful souls that you're perfect as you are. You may have healing to do. You may have trauma to overcome. You may have a personality that has to shift. But those are all things you can handle. Those are all things you can take care of. And you get to find yourself. You get to find out truly who you are. And when you do that without a fuck of what anyone else says, they lose their power. Because the only reason this previous energy had power over you is because you believed they were stronger. You believed they were the ones in control. That was the notion you subscribed to. That was the reality you were putting on. And spirit only shows you that which you send them in amplified energy. So, if you have always been speaking of the lack, speaking of the burden, speaking of the hurt, that will be all you see. But I don't believe that is what Pisces has been going through because you are so much wiser than that. Be gentle with yourself. The new door is hidden in plain sight. All the more reason to re be relaxed and calm so that you can listen to your intuition and heed out moment to moment what needs to happen for your greatest and highest good because you're truly moving into the next and best phase of your life Pisces and I hope you're ready for all the blessings that it is bringing into you have a beautiful day my love